Dear friends, on the 24th day of our Lenten season, we gather to pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And and with your dear brothers, dear sisters in Christ, let us go deep down within ourselves, accept our sins, and ask God for pardon and for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the heart of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Father, we thank and bless you this day, the 24th day of our Lenten observances. We pray for strength. We pray for your grace that we may be faithful to our promises to you. Father, we commit our world and our nation into your care, especially in this time of crisis. We pray for all doctors and all nurses and all medical practitioners all over the world who are helping in the fight of the coronavirus. May you, O oh God, protect them, grant them grace to survive these tests of time. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. In those days, the angel brought me back to the door of the temple and behold, water was issuing from below the threshold of the temple towards the east, for the temple faced the east. And the water was flowing down from below the right side of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar towards the east. Then he brought me out by way of the north gate and led me round on the outside of the outer gate that faces towards the east and the water on the right side going on eastward with the line in his hand the man measured a thousand cubits and then led me through the water and it was ankle deep again he measured a thousand and led me through the water and it was knee deep Again he measured a thousand and led me through the water, and it was up to the loins. Again he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass through, for the water had risen. It was deep enough to swim in, a river that could not be passed through. And he said to me, Son of man, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I went back, I saw upon the bank of the river very many trees on the one side and on the other. And he said to me, This water flows towards the eastern region and goes down into the Araba. And when it enters the stagnant waters of the sea, the water will become fresh. And wherever the river goes, every living creature which swam will live, and there will be very many fish, for this water goes there, that the waters of the sea may become fresh, so everything will live where the river goes. And on the banks on both sides of the river, there will grow all kinds of trees for food, their leaves will not wither, 
nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be good for food, and their leaves for healing. The word of the Lord. Our response shall be, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains quake to the heart of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place, the dwelling of the Most High. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord, the awesome deeds he has done on the air. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory praise to you. For me, O oh God, restore in me the joy of your salvation. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, a pool, in Hebrew called Bethsaida, which has five portico. In this lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lame, paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool. When the water is troubled, and while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your pallet, and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, it is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your pallet. But he answered them, The man who healed me said to me, Take up your pallet and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your pallet and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was. For Jesus had withdrawn, as there was a crowd in the place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well. Sin no more, that nothing worse before you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. And this was why the Jews persecuted Jesus, because he did this on the Sabbath. Beloved, the gospel. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved in Christ, on this Tuesday of the fourth week, week of Lent, we hear this beautiful, very popular reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Water flowing from the right side of the temple. Beloved in Christ, this episode shows to us God's presence, God's love, and God's greatness. God's presence, God's love, and God's greatness. In this issue of the first reading, the water has three main faculties. It is miraculous, it is an agent of cleansing, and it is also an agent that is life-giving. And so, beloved in Christ, it is the Lord's desire that we find life. It is the Lord's desire that we are cleansed from our sins. Dear beloved in Christ, in this first reading, which connects us to the gospel of today, that Jesus is the life-giving water. In John's gospel, chapter 4, verse 10, he says, he is the living water. That is the water that flows from the right side of the temple. God is always concerned about our needs. God is always concerned about our welfare. God is always interested in our lives. So dearly beloved in Christ, as we see how beautiful the picture is painted, how awesome the water grows and develops, this little river which flows into the sea and even refreshes it and gives its life, gives its wholeness, gives its freshness. Dear beloved in Christ, in our gospel today, Jesus is walking among us. Jesus is our Emmanuel. He, God, with us. So as he walks through our lives, let us recognize him. That he is the one who has this healing power. He is the one who heals us from all our sins. Is the one who will give us life. We need to make ourselves available. He is walking among us. He invites us to walk along. In this season of Lent, may the Lord cleanse us with this living water. May the Lord give us life and heal us of all our iniquities. May the Lord give us life and heal us of all our illnesses. As we pray in this Mass, we join the psalmist as we acknowledge the greatness of the Lord the God of Jacob. He is our refuge, he is our strength. In this present situation, in this situation of distress, may the living water, God's presence, God's grace and love, deliver us and grant us wholeness. May we always find favor with him as he calls us along. May we follow him in love and in peace. Let us go out there doing what is right, obeying the instructions that are given to us. That if we love our brothers and sisters, we will withdraw. We will stay at home. So that as the Lord speaks, wherever he finds himself, we will find healing. Let us stay at home so that we save ourselves and save our brothers and sisters from this pandemic. May Lord grant us his mercy all the days of our lives. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, which earth has given and human hands has made it to become for us the bread of life. Let us be God forever. 
Let's say that you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness shall receive the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hand, to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his souls. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our fault, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we are clean. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make Holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John Bonaventure, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember all our intentions for this Holy Mass. And may the Lord be attentive to all our prayers our brothers who are looking at us, our brothers who are listening to us. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Augustine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, the form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our many sons, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep our souls safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, it's time for us to receive communion, and we shall receive spiritual communion. Pray for the Holy Spirit of God to come down upon you and join in saying this prayer. Pray after me. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you, since I cannot at this moment receive you, sacramentally, sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you as if you were read already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Dear friends, also join us in praying the prayer for end of the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful Father, Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all creation, who show your love to all creation, we come before you asking for quick control. We come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick. Grant healing to the sick. Eternal life to the dead. Eternal life to the dead. And consolation to the bereaved families. And consolation to the bereaved families. We pray that we pray that an effective medicine to combat the sickness be speedily found. An effective medicine to combat the sickness be speedily found. We pray for the relevant government and health authorities. We pray for the relevant governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. That they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. Look upon us in your mercy. Look upon us in your mercy. And forgive us our failings. And forgive us our failings. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Psalm 23 verse 1 and 2. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help of our bodies now and likewise in times to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you, and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us to pray. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. granting us such a beautiful day, a rainy day here in Ghana. We thank God for the rains. Um, this afternoon at 3 p.m., join us to pray the Divine Mercy. Very important for all of us. 3 o'clock p.m., we shall gather online to pray the Divine Mercy. Tell your friend, tell another friend, to tell another friend that we will all pray together. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. You know, keep safe, take all necessary precautions because this virus is still out there. May God bless and protect you. Thank you.